Hi, I'm Megan Andiu. I work as a sexuality educator and sexologist. I run the Center for Sexual Pleasure and Health, and welcome to GASM.org. If someone has told me that they cannot have an orgasm, I will inform them that that has not been scientifically proven, that all individuals are capable of having orgasms. All individuals, individuals with spinal cord injuries, individuals who have had um, amputations, individuals who have experienced circumcision, all individuals are capable of having orgasm. Um, the things that I would suggest would be communication, and that can take place in various different formats. It can take place verbally, and it can take place non-verbally. It can also take place through technology. We have it everywhere. So if we're doing non-verbal communication, because some people have a really hard time asking for what they want, watch how their body is actually moving. And so if you notice that your partner is shifting a little bit to the right, that does not mean that they probably have a, had a cramp. It probably means that they're positioning their body so that your touch is exactly where they want it to be.